Hello, today I wanted to show you how simple the fresh veggie and produce wash is to use. So here I have two bowls, I mean two cups of water, sorry, and I'm going to add a cap full of the fresh produce and veggie wash. And then I'm going to add a package of strawberries inside. I'll show you. And you just let them soak for about two minutes. So you saw the water prior to me putting the strawberries in. So now, I'll let you, let's see if I can move this back. All right, so I'm gonna just leave the strawberries in the bowl and mix them every few seconds. And I'm gonna let them soak for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna show you what happens to the water when I remove the strawberries from the bowl. So the fresh veggie and produce wash, um, you just use a cap full to about two cups of water, or you could spray it on your vegetables if you want to eat them right away uh, for about 30 seconds. You can put it on any fresh vegetable, apples, strawberries, blueberries, sweet potatoes, lettuce, um, every, every ingredient you throw in the salad. So it's really good at removing um, dirt and debris from your fruit. Um, alongside with the fruit and veggie wash, I really love the fruit and veggie scrub. Um, all Norwex products, cloths, come with a label that tells you exactly what it is for. So this one is the fre fruit, fresh fruit and veggie scrub cloth. So it has a soft um, microfiber side and then it has a rougher side for scrubbing uh, carrots, sweet potatoes, anything that's a little tougher. I like it for after my fruits or vegetables are done soaking, I like to use it to, to dry them off um, and, any, and scrub any debris that's left, especially on sweet potatoes or apples or carrots. This side works really well. So that is the fruit and veggie cloth. It also has backlock in it. I'm just gonna mix the strawberries a little bit. Uh, it also has backlock in it, so when you're done using it, you rinse it, you wring it, and you hang it to dry, and it will self-purify. Backlock means that there is a micro antibacterial silver inside this cloth that helps it self-purify, so it won't build up mold or bacteria in the cloth after you're done cleaning, just like a lot of the other Norwex cloths also have the backlock system in the cloths, which makes them stand out from the rest of your typical microfiber cloths that you buy in a store. So let's take a look back at my bowl of strawberries. It's been about two minutes. Mix them around. Mix them one last time. Um, you wanna leave them in here for at least two minutes. Anytime longer is fine too. Um, you could just throw them in the bowl, mix them, and forget about it pretty much. And let the fresh produce and veggie wash do its job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the strawberries from the bowl. And I want you to look closely at the color of the water and also what's on the bottom of the bowl. So you'll see how much dirt and debris comes off the strawberries and you'll also notice that the color of the water has changed. Now some of the debris that's in the bowl is some of the seeds that fell off the strawberries but you can see that there also is a lot of dirt and also the watercolor is no longer clear. If you go back to the beginning of the video you'll notice that the water color was definitely not that dark. So. This again is the fresh produce and veggie wash. And this is an example with the strawberries, the difference um, that the water color is after it cleans. So you know that your strawberries are now clean. You could rinse them under some cold water and then they're ready to eat and that's it. And if you wanted to wipe them down to dry them, you certainly could, but I just let mine air dry and we eat them.